Hey, um, so I am actually preparing a log of, uh, oh shit, it's so much of, so um, I am trying to make um, not artificial intelligence, not even neural network or machine learning anything right now on the surface. Um, but something's gonna be like which would actually um, do a heavy analysis of uh, sort of emotional levels of pictures in terms of attractiveness um, um, and age and all that stuff um, to make a choice on behalf of me now um, uh, the thing is that it's not an AI thing and it doesn't have any emotions or anything like that and humans have lot of attributes governing their choices um, whereas when you schedule that same task to a machine or a software um, and you accommodate for all of your um, attributes in that it becomes really uh, interesting to see and what's more interesting is um, as I was building one by one small attributes and I haven't actually built all of them but like one of the small few of the small things which you can see, see here and I will explain now. Um, when I was building them um, and at a certain stage when they were working and I tried to feed, um, uh, give it a, a affordance in such a way that I was actually being influenced by my own process as a matter of fact. Um, I'm, I'm not sure if I'm able to explain it very properly. It, it is actually a very philosophical stance that I'm taking right now but um, it was really interesting watching myself behavior um, that I was trying to fit myself within the machine's definitions because I'm the creator I know something even if I replace myself here with some other person and show them the software I'm quite sure um, they will also try to fit themselves within the machine and that's what kind of is happening in a larger context outside as well um, and I just had a real-time experience building this thing uh, but what the software is and it's gonna be it's not there yet um, is it's gonna take analyze pictures from tinder so there will be a phone um, I don't have a smartphone but I just lost one but like imagine this is your um, success um, Apple success um, and there will be a camera looking at the pictures um, down there and taking snapshots and analyzing the golden ratios and age and my different parameters of choice few of them I'll be explaining right now and based on this it will accept or reject and um, and there will be two servo um, thingies, uh, servo horns, uh, essentially like selecting, rejecting, selecting, rejecting the things. Um, depending on the choices that I will be making um, and the affordances that will be put in the software, it's not possible to do everything and accommodate everything, then I have to use the IPA, IPM's free Eliza API for <laughs> all the machine learning, which I'm not doing right now. It's just I'm using one. Um, online uh, API for visual recognition but then the algorithms and choices are very simple to make so here first uh, the attractiveness ratio is one of the major parameters by machines to understand how attractive we are I mean our sense of attractiveness or we how we find other people's attractive depends on a lot of things but mathematically there's been a lot of paper I don't want to go into all of that deep trade but then um, it's called golden ratio like the ratio between the eyes and uh, the distance between the eyes level and the lip level um, and to the height of the face uh, is if it's like around 36 percent which is actually considered very attractive and like there is also like the distance between the eyes to the width of the face ratio so you can choose either of them or make an average of both of them I've actually made average of both the parameters um, one of the problems that I faced was a um, lot of pictures on tinder and this Tim Tim Temtem in China, um, which is a Tinder clone sort of in China. I'm in Shanghai right now. Um, I downloaded it, sort of made an app, uh, account in that. I never used those kind of softwares, but like it's, it was really interesting. Um, it was very similar to Tinder. Uh, but then the pictures there, like um, if you see, are either very much inclined like this or like people making different kind of expressions. And it's really hard to actually get a very proper picture face a flat two-dimensional face and then analyze from that um, for the so it takes some um, heavy uh, image manipulation um, 
um, to bring them at that front so I have done only one part actually and not all um, which is if you have an inclined face uh, which you will find a lot here uh, I try to accommodate to make them like plain flat which will not see in the but there is like background calculations going on if you try and carefully calculate by making them straight and not inclined um, but I'm trying to figure out like if you have pictures like or studio orientations like how to bring them um, probably will take them more time but here it is how this is how far it has been done so you can see like the first preference that you make is either you choose um, age as the first preference of choice or the golden ratio so if you choose age as your first preference um, of choice then golden ratio will be accommodated after uh, the required age has been uh, found or um, matched um, in any case if even if it's golden ratio which is like 36 percent by default i have set uh, you can change it um, uh, you can change all of the parameters and then you can actually also load the default file but then like 36 percent 34 percent i all i set it to like 20 percent you see like here i'm actually trying to set it in accordance to me like i'm actually affecting my own behavior through software which is crazy um so golden ratio is 27% and limit to the ratio is like higher limit and upper limit sort of thing. Um, uh, so like plus minus six to the existing golden ratio if it's there. Like I have set for 27% but I am not finding anyone with a golden ratio 27%. Um, what to do then? Like so I've kept a limit like 27 plus six or 27 minus six within that range if anybody is there, accept it. Um, same with the preferred age so after the gold if like right now golden ratio has been set as the first preference so you can toggle it between the age and the uh, golden ratio so after golden ratio choices has been made it will go down to preferred age and it will look for 20 years old if it finds 20 years old fine if it doesn't then there is also a buffer age limit plus minus four after all of these things you can also make affordances for like smile check um and so here is also another image manipulation algorithm that I wrote was to actually accommodate for the smiling ratio, like finding the smile ratio and then like accommodate for making it a neutral face and then calculate everything on the same scale. But then like smile check. So if you check it here, so it, the software will also take into accommodation of like finding people who are smiling as well as the previous categories, as well as the previous categories are first met. And then it will also check if there is smile again, then select or else reject sort of thing same with the eyeglass uh, but you can all set them as default or you can make your own default files um, I'll make shortly make another tab like making your own default files but um, so like if I put smile check eyeglass check I don't have eyeglass I will not be smiling um, let's make the golden issue a little bit lower because I'm not pretty um, and then yeah age is 20 I'll be I'm 22 so should be good let's see so you press s to analyze and b to get back to this live cam feature so let's close this and press s so shortly it it's now actually calling up the recognizer api to measure and it's pretty good api actually rather than open cv as a matter of fact so you can see here that i actually calculated this so it's actually inclined line and it's also an inclined line and if you had to accurately measure this distance between these two, you cannot actually do it like consider it as a straight point or a straight mark. So I had to actually accommodate for to make it straight and then, um, uh, so it's like this basic Pythagoras theorems going went into this kind of inclined face image manipulation, which is pretty nice for me because I'm not a, a software writer, but then I did it pretty well. Like I. Um, I was doing some maths on paper and then figured it out how to do it. So you can see I'm like 20 what? No, I'm not 29 years old, but then it happens. Mm, gender male, fine. Smiling, false, good. Glasses, false. I don't have any glasses. I closed, true, what the heck. Um, so these are the three resultant choices which are like, um, you'll understand better once you see the code. So it's like, um, so... So the resultant choices, I'll explain shortly what they are. Um, so it's something like, um, so here we had like the golden ratio selection, right? And the golden ratio 
uh, if the if the golden ratio criteria, including this limit to ratio, added up to the actual golden ratio chosen by me, and the golden ratio found from the picture matches, then you get the resultant. Uh, same with the other criteria as well. So golden ratio, smile, age, and uh, glasses. All these are were false. So this then the bot will actually not um, click on this on my picture, but this is not a Tinder profile anyways. Um, so yeah, so this is kind of it in the way modifying. I went pretty fast, I know, but then um, I hope it's going to be working soon. I want to make the contraptions next and put a neural network tunnel inside it to actually learn my behaviors, which is going to be nice. Yeah, so see you then. Oh, uh, yeah.